Just a quick test fit into the front window. Seems to have gone okay. I had to uh, grind the frame down a little bit. I don't know if you can see it gets a little skinnier there in the middle now. It's only about 7 eighths thick instead of 1 and 1 sixteenth. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, Ooh, he's got a front window now. That's pretty cool. I had a bigger one. Three panes wide. So could have gone lower, but well, I think that's going to interfere with the bed. Kept it at that, and then it's the same level as those ones. When all is said and done, the bottoms of them will all line up and it'll look somewhat proper. Or something. Oh, whatever. So it's just temporary. And now we did a little bit of frame grinding because the frames were a little small. I wanted them as tight as possible on these windows for a better seal. Uh, excuse me. But yeah, now we got that one all test fitted. Man, this thing's going to look all right, I think. Once I get all the windows in and get the exterior finished, it's going to look pretty damn sharp. I'm going to put a 9x9 mini roof vent right in the front of the flat part there. My real, real low profile one. It's only 9 inch by 9 inch. And uh, the reason I'm going with a 9x9 and not a standard 14x14 14 14 is because I got one foot spacing on my rafters. So that leaves me 10 and a half inches here. So if I build a 10 and a half by 10 and a half inch box, I can uh, shim up a roof end in there real nice. Right there. Yeah. All I need to go hit the RV shop there and get some new cranks for these windows. I don't like the knobby ones that were on it. I want to get the old style cranks if I can. But we shall see. All right. On to fitting this one. See what happened. I forgot to put temporary supports in here <clears throat> while I was uh, while I was putting the roof and stuff on and the frame collapsed slightly right in the corner here you can't even really see it but as you can see here I had to thin it out just a little bit in there you can really see it here how much I had to thin it out there but no big deal won't make it work and then when I'm all done, since this is nice and flush here, <coughs> get my plywood cut on the inside. Maybe a little bit smaller than that. I don't know. We'll see. I think I'm gonna get her out all nice, and then do a nice little, uh, nice little metal trim around there. I'll make something. We'll see. Anyway. More projects. Let's look, another one. A motor. Maybe I'll fix it up for my little guy. Maybe I won't. Might be scrap. Anyway. There's the third window test fitted. It's in there good. As you can see, it on a crank open and such. And this one, although it is cracked, if you can see that. I cracked it, taking it out of the donor trailer. But this one's the egress window, right? Uh, you better shot that. It swings right open like that after you pop the little red clippy things. So yeah, that'll work out good. Egress escape window. In case of a fire and you can't get out this door, then you can just pop the little red clips. Open the window and out you go. I think it did to close it. Sorry about the blurriness. There. Number one. Two. Although the seal's fucked. Gotta replace the seal and fix that broken window, but. Yeah, whatever. JB did these things. They're working well, so. I'm gonna do some more installing.